Like baseball, I think like it's fun. Like it's a good game to play. You share like with teammates and stuff. Oh, it means like a sport, like my life because every time, like every day after school, I'm playing baseball and do my thing. Well, baseball it means a lot because I mean I sacrifice a lot coming from Curacao here, like. You know, a lot of my friends like invited me to go to parties, but like I just stay home because I have to wake up next day, go play baseball and stuff. So I like sacrifice a lot. It's like a big thing. I mean, baseball is everything to me because I've been playing it for since when I was like, oh, like six, and most of my family plays, so it means a lot to me. Baseball to your vida. Baseball is my life. Baseball, baseball I means it's like. Baseball is life because I play my whole life since I was like the and I have. And yeah, I play my whole life after school, I practice just to get better. It's my whole life. Baseball to me, baseball is my life. My whole family plays it, so I feel proud to play it. Baseball is a great thing because since I was a child, I was playing. And my father taught me everything I know so far. Baseball is my passion. Baseball is my life. Baseball is important for me. Yeah, before I I hear about my other friend that wanted to come here, and I t I spoke to my dad to see if I can start coming to school over here, and then my dad was agree. He talked to my mom and stuff, and then. They will agree, and then I start, I start um apply to come to school, and then when the process is going, like my mom, she she didn't want me to go because like I'm gonna be missing, and she, like I'm gonna be with another house parents, like another family that we don't really know yet, and she was kind of like nervous about it, but my dad was okay with it because he knows that. What I'm gonna go for? Yeah. Like, um, if I stayed in Curacao, like, there's not as much opportunities as here. Like here, you have a lot of more opportunities. But to come here, it costs a lot of money. My mom and dad have to like work a lot more, to, like work hard to get me here. It, there's like a lot of sacrifice you have to make for them. I mean, of course, I want to make them proud too. Like, my goal is like to get a scholarship or something. I like try to get drafted, but I know it's hard, but I'm done to do my best to like make him proud. Well, um, I had I had like my mom when my mom asked me like if I want to come to America. I was like first I was like yes, but then I was like kind of what do you say like I was scared because I was 15. So then when I came here for my mom it was hard, but after like one year it was a little hard for my family, but they understood that I. It was something that I want, and it's all gonna be good. To be honest, um, I was kind of happy because I'm going to like follow my dreams, and then I was sad at the same time because I'm gonna leave my family and go live by myself. And so yeah, I take it. I can say normal, so it was good and bad at the same time because my family. I'm coming to for my course baseball and school at the same time. It is hard. Um, you need to be prepared for it because it's a new life and you come for your goals, something that you want. In school it was like some lessons. Like my first year was a little bit tough because I have to get used to how they do things here. but. After like the other people, I don't have a really problem because it's kind of like the same. And like, like from like people like, like people like I don't know how to really say, it, but um, not like take the take the um, the school the academic out, like just the people is like the same thing mm. as back home. Well, in Curacao, it's different from here because in Curacao you can play, you can go to school, but they're like separate school from baseball. You can go to school and get bad grades and then go to baseball play. Over here, 
there is like they put like they mix it up like you go to school you have to have good grades so you can play baseball I miss some food I miss my family food the beaches over there the things here are a little bit different and um it's a little bit you project a little bit faster here and then back home because here you can train more, have more people supporting you, and that. It's okay. Yeah, it's great, but at the same time, you left your family back home, so you have to adjust to other people and other people's um, rules. So, first, because the man that like runs like a lot of this, Philip Llewellyn. Like he talked about my dad about it, and like my dad mentioned it, but he at first he didn't want me to go because I'm their first son. So, like, but I had to convince him a lot, talk to them, like, tell them, yeah, if I stay curious, so I'm just gonna like end up not playing anymore, just like go to school. But, like, if I come here, like, I could get a lot more opportunities. Like, I tried to convince them for like a month, and then they ultimately decided I should like come because it's a better opportunity for me. To us in terms of baseball means a lot because it's like those are we have two major sports that we play. We play soccer and also baseball. But over there baseball means a lot because like in we play we don't really play like for school, like we play for community and stuff, so everybody is trying to be the best to make their goal, like to go do to go represent our country, so it really means a lot to, to us back home. I want to, um, it's, I, I want to, the Curacao kids that progress, to go, go for it and I, go, I want to be a somebody, I want to be somebody for Curacao.